Hello, brothers and sisters of my ender. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is our common sense. I try to keep it down in the nick gritty. And of course, if I go over 10 minutes, it's something that's very important. But of course, everything I say is important. And of course, my page is about craziness, pandemonium type shit. Okay, people think you never believe that it's true or not or like that, that. I don't talk like everybody else on their other pages. I'm more animated and more funnier than they are. And, and I actually put tell you to put down uh, comments, suggestions, or even insults. Because I, I like to learn from other people. Use it as a weapon against other people who are pretty ignorant. Okay. And, and, and as a matter of fact, as I said before, you know, I'm mentally ill, you know, if you wish to believe that or not. Okay. And voices talk to me all the time. And aliens and shit like that. All spirits, beings, and ghosts. And I hear little pingings in my ears and stuff like that. My pituitary gland is not really clustered or anything because I don't even eat fat foods or anything like that. I eat in moderation, less than moderation most of the time. I, w I weigh like 150. I take care of myself. My, my python is bigger than yours. You see that? I, li I lift weights. I used to have six pack. You know what I'm saying? You see it down there? I used to have it, but I don't have it. I'm a boxer, professional boxer, and I'm mentally ill. So if you don't have to, you don't take my word. You don't have to take my word for it. It doesn't really matter. Okay, as I said before. Now, I've already wasted about one minute of your time. If you have any suggestions or insults, you put it down below. When I say light and dark, I'm talking about people in the light are usually blind. It's the majority of people, and people who are in the dark already know the knowledge. They're on the narrow path, and you're not going to hell either. <laughs> well, anyway, um, this video is going to be about, as I, I talked about this before in the past, I put this there. I'm not trying to get attention or anything. I, I had an argument with some Ethiopian again, but I got to make sure I make my video very clear. Okay. This one's called Ethiopian and religion. Okay. I'm going to title it a certain way. So when Ethiopians come to it, Ethiopians and religion, I'm just going to put it Ethiopians and religion. Okay. This is a message for Ethiopian people. All right. Now I'm going to try to tell you, this is a fact now. The darker people are, okay, Nigerians, uh, Zulus, okay, and taller, the more likely they're prone to be a part of that continent, okay, genetically wise. Now, let me ask you a question, Ethiopians. If you don't study genetics, then you won't understand anything I'm saying, okay, in this video. You won't. I'm not looking down on Ethiopia as a whole, but I'm trying to tell you, all of Africa used to be controlled by the Zulu tribes, okay, Zulu tribes, you want to call them Nigerians, or whatever, the darker colored races, I'm talking about the melatonin in their skin, the deepness in their voice, and because uh, my, my wife's, my wife's uh, father is, look like he's Ethiopian, he's tall as hell, and he look like Ethiopian, he look, tall features, all the features there is, and you should already know, some um, uh, Somalinese, the Congo people have the biggest dick in the world, biggest dicks in the world, right, right, so that's black, okay, right, so you have to understand, that concept, how it works in genetics, okay? In America, people pay thousands of dollars for genetics. So if you if they want genetics for a smarter child, they pay for they pay thousands of dollars to get it smart. Seventy percent of the time is accurate. Do your do your research, you Ethiopian fools. I say most of you Ethiopian fools because you come on my page behind the scene because I can monitor them all and screen all my my, um, my 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 comments, okay? Right? And you put down ignorant things. I said that you don't know your own country. Because the white man has processed your mind through the media. And also they spread many diseases and problems throughout your country. Tegrite forces are part of the public. The, uh, the, uh, the Tegrite forces are a part of the a puppet. They are a puppet of the white man, Western and Eastern. The Orientals and the Western, Western man. The Zulus, I believe, I'm trying to tell you, the darker races, I, you may call them Nigerians or whatever, were originally for uh, their entire globe. I mean, the entire population. Um, I'm sorry, the entire African continent, okay, was covered by Africans, okay, until the invaders came, okay, if you want to know how educated you are, I'm going to simply ask you this question, and when I ask you this question, then you know you are not truly African, okay, I know I have African heritage and also Indian, I know this many gods, so the more likely you are prone for the white man manipulation, the more prone you believe in religion, Okay, so if you believe in any form of God or religion, just one God, one singularity of God, then you have been brainwashed. You have to go get re-educated. Go on the internet, and they, they still, the white man still allowed this to happen. They have advertised and controlled the media, which is predominantly in English. As you should know, your language is older. As I said before, the English language is the easiest, the most simplified, straight terms. There's no curvatures or multiples. There's multiple sim um, um, syllables. With a letter, but it's still more simplified than most of your language, a, a hammer language. And this, this is a fact, okay? Now, my wife tells me this. Okay, you can say your light skin color, 
I'll put up, you know, with me. You already know how color um, um, Ethiopians are. You already know how color the Congo people are, Nigerians. You have to look at the different coloring characteristics. As you should already know, I told you before, they used to conquer. I'm not saying it's 100% true, but I'm telling you, I read many documents and also through genetics that if a person is of uh, a true origin, they already know that there's not just one God. You know, even the shamans in your country who live in sporadic areas throughout the continent, Zulus didn't, didn't um, uh, uh, derived from South. They were all over the whole continent. Invaders like the Europeans and the Orientals, they came and conquered. The Muslims came, okay? So if you want to do your research on that, the Muslims came in. Now you got Muslim people. If you are religious, then you already been brainwashed by the white man's Roman Greek Hellenization. Look it up. I'm trying to educate you here. When I was in your country, a few Ethiopians accepted what I'm saying. Maybe they were lying. Because I said that if you don't know English, you can't travel that much, baby. You can't travel that much. English is like the number one on the Georgia Stones. It's English is number one. It is not number two. They say China and Mandarin is fucking number two. It's not African. Okay, African is probably in the middle or on the bottom, which is pretty pathetic. So you already know that English is from the Anglo-Saxons in Latin, right? So if you want to go on the internet and research what I'm doing, if you want to be educated, you can't be religious if you're truly African. If you want to be African, it's African is just a label anyway. So you don't really have to relate. So I'm only talking to those fools who say I'm uneducated when I do have a degree and you don't have a degree. Most of you don't study in psychology. I'm sorry to say. And I get more plenty of pussy more than you. I don't even have to show my fucking money. Uh, Enibana. I know about the Enibana, motherfucker. I talk to your women easily, and I know how many men who are actually, I was in your country for two whole years. And as I said before in my past videos, I'm making this video specifically for those people going to call me fools. I get thousands of views because of Ethiopians and also other individuals who don't know a bit about common sense. And I'm like, yo, just ask you a question. You believe in a religion? I said, then you are not truly African. You've been brainwashed. Your genetic structure, my wife is an idiot. Okay? <laughs> and I'm going to say that because I can say that in front of her. I tell her I'm Jesus all the time. Did you know Jesus was a black man, not a white man? Did you read the Bible? Ethiopians don't read that motherfucking Bible. They don't read that shit. They don't even follow by it. They're orthodox. Orthodox Christian faith. They said that's another sect of Christianity and the Catholic faith. What about the Muslims? Okay, the Muslims are sporadic throughout the day. They be up at three in the morning over there, singing their hums. Okay, thinking they're gonna be saved. All right, they believe in a moon god. Okay, and Abraham talked about the moon god in the Bible itself. So now you understand. If you if you do your research, y'all y'all educated. I'm only talking to educated in, in, uh, uh, Ethiopians and also y'all the fools out there who call me a fool because I'm not Yanni man, you motherfucker. I'm American. I'm African American. I whip his ass easily, okay, because I'm a fighter, I'm a professional fighter, so I don't want to fight nobody, so I use my brain, you know what I'm saying, and plus I hear voices, so I'm a prophet, so you will call me a prophet when I prophesize things, I've been prophesizing many things in your country, that's why you're having these turmoils right now with Romo video villages and shit like that, because you kind of, because I, I carry the Moses stick, baby, you want to see my Moses stick, my Moses stick, I'm the one who's carrying the stick and walking around kind of weird, I'm the one, I'm the one who carried the power of the stick. I found this in the deepest part of the woods, y'all Ethiopians. And y'all Africans who watch me, I'm the motherfucking Zulu king. Okay? <laughs> Shit, I get tired of people on Facebook and, and, and try to attack me. You ain't attacking me. You ain't entertaining me. You ain't giving me power. And those people who say they want to kill me, I haven't really gotten too many death threats. Okay? But of, of the, of the course, probably because the way they think I'm mentally ill. That's great. It protects my ass. Don't come to my house want to kill me because of words. It's just words. Nobody's destroying your country. But you got to watch out for magical folks because I'm one of the magical folks. And I've been treated wrong in Ethiopia a few times and I saw bad shit that's happened to them like that. It's like that. I don't have... I, I, see, my power is the word power. If you put a spell on me or some shit, it will just backfire and your whole house will just fall down. All right? And that shit just usually happens. It happens, okay? I have plenty of stories where Ethiopians did certain wrong things to me and the house fell down on them and shit. They lost their job. They got caught up with the security and police. But the whole moral of my story is the Ethiopian. Okay, Ethiopian, um, uh, this, this video is about Ethiopian religion and also facts in ancient times. It's also about the Zulu people that lived there and it was destroyed by the conquerors or invaders, you want to call it. If you believe in any of their, their, their garbage, okay, the white man's garbage, the crack of gar garbage, hillbillies, whatever you want to call it, okay, you are not an African. You are definitely not, okay. 
And any any African who wish to attack another African who basically believe in many gods who have an open mind is not an African as well. Okay? As I said before, I'm a mixed breed Negro. But I got Indian in me. I already know, but hey, ho, oh, hey, oh, oh. I got that. It's in my blood. I got German, so I'm using my comp I'm using comprehension skills. I'm using voices telling me all this shit. That I have to look I had look on the internet and I found it. Voices tell me there's certain magics you can't actually do to make people silent. There's people, there's magics out there, black magic, blue magic, red magic, and you're gonna tell me I'm from America? Most Negroes in America are more educated than the Ethiopians or all African Af Africans in another country. I'll say that right now. More talented. So I'm giving kudos to African Americans. So all of the strongest niggas was brought over into Africa. Did you know that, Ethiopians? They say the people sold them. The Europe, the, the, the African people, I don't care what tribe it was, sold their own people to the European empires, brought their asses over here, the strongest ones. What do you think that means, motherfuckers? Okay, y'all Ethiopians don't make, I'm talking to the ones who's making fun of me, the ones who did not listen to me in my past video, fucking videos. I say this over and over again. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong? I am fucking African American. When I was over in your country, I was talking to so many women without money. I didn't even do that. I said, Inibana. I didn't know what the fucking word mean. Okay? I don't need the fucking money. I saw a lot of fucking cash. They gonna do anything I want. I get that ass, okay? I don't want, I don't want no AIDS. <laughs> I ain't saying most of y'all women are AIDS. But it says it's the numbers are high. But maybe that story is not true. You can't believe everything in the media. I'm not Yanni Mania. Okay? Don't, don't compare me with him. He's not educated like him. Every time when he actually he watches some of my videos and he gives y'all information. And do you know that Yanni Mania? You know Yanni Mania? Okay. He's not as funny as me. And I'm a fighter. I'm a professional. I got degrees, motherfucker. And I got a family. I got my daughter. You saw my daughter, okay? All right. Get it right, okay? Polygamy is supposed to be allowed in your country. That's I'm gonna talk about that too. Polygamy was allowed in the whole entire continent of Africa. The white man came over and used their imperial power. They had mistresses and shit like that, but they failed at it. So eventually they had to turn from the dark ages into paganism all the way into religion. You see how it evolved? I would say the white man was like, oh, we can't do what these African niggas can do, right? So we said, fuck it. We might as well create religion. Look it up. Look it up. Okay, what do you think? In America, they did the same thing with the Chaos Project. You don't know nothing about that. What do y'all know about that? Y'all don't go on, you can't even read English. If you can't read English, you're not educated. You're not, you don't even have the word computer in your fucking language. What does that mean? You don't have technology in your fucking language. That doesn't... What does that mean? Okay, you still have curvatures on your words and shit. And, and, and that shit is like Orientals and shit. That's older languages, babies. Okay, the, the, the people who conquered the world more was the Caucasoid races. 70% of the world's... Comp they've been everywhere. Queen of Elizabeth, okay? The British Empire. Come on now. There have been wars with white people. They're fighting themselves all the, all, all the time, all the time. What are you talking about? You're Africans, okay? You're a lower, lower species. You're a different level when it comes to mental capacities. You're not slave thinkers. You know the truth. Africans know the truth. But the white man is genetically modified. They came from another world. Read more books. You'll find out this information, right? Oh, now I'm over 13 minutes. I'm just getting all hyper and shit because people, when you say things stupid, because it's not insults. It's not the insults that bother me. It's just when you say things, I'm like, your people are not bright. Okay, Ethiopian people are not technically bright. That's why it's a republic. It's a communist slash republic. you only been liberated for only like 30 years. This is what my wife says. I'm not making stuff up. My wife says you only been 30, liberated for only 30 years. What's his name? Um, President Meles. He died when I, got, when I entered the country. He died. Okay, he, he technically died. Okay, and that, it, it wasn't my fault. Okay. <laughs> It's just how the greedy the system is. He works for the Tegrai government. You don't know that. You don't. None of y'all people know this type of stuff. The North controls all, almost everything. Everything about Ethiopia. Okay, that's why most Ethiopians are suffering. You only make five hundred burr a month. That's pretty sad. That's really sad. Okay, I'm just telling you my experiences. Okay, I'm trying to educate you. If you get your education, you don't need religion. Religion sucks. It's evil. It's a. It's a great good. It's a great evil for a greater good. That's what the white man says. So we won't go back to the dark ages. That paganism and all that other shit, that's a part of the white man's, that's a belief system to keep people living in fear. Okay, Ethiopians, you live in fear. You, you're supposed to believe in yourself as a god. And then there's other deities that come into the planet. Look at your walls. Look at the, the scriptures on the wall. You don't need to read a book to find that out. Okay, you don't even know who Zachariah Ascension is. You don't know who uh, uh, David Icke is. You don't know who none of those individuals is. But you know a white Jesus and he's not really white. Get the fuck out of here, man. 
Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Remember, when you come to my page, you're going to smile a little bit and you're going to get some facts. I'm not making shit up, okay, here. I have experiences. And you got these niggas saying, oh, you don't have nothing. I said, but you don't, you don't look at my past videos. I got multiple women, baby. I'm African-American, okay? Peace.